Welcome everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to use our digital lessons for educational and home learning purposes. Our digital lessons offer ready-made, up-to-date digital educational content, which is easy for students to follow, whether they're working on their own or in groups. These lessons encourage them to gain new experience and acquire new information and to make new observations while cementing their knowledge. They require teachers to act as facilitators, so their main mission is to help students process the learning material in groups and to organize and filter information. It's only the secondary role of the teacher to provide the information itself. You can click on the Media Library icon, either on MozaWeb or in MozaBook, to access the digital lessons. Select the Media Library Digital Lessons menu item. I'll show you how to access these lessons in MozaBook. In MozaBook, you should look for the Media Library icon. Then, on the next panel, click on the Digital Lessons menu item. In the next window, you need to select MozaWeb as a source if it isn't already selected. That's how you access the digital lessons. In this video, I'd like to show you these lessons through MozaWeb but everything works exactly the same way in MozaBook as well. Let's take a look at this example here to take a look at their structure and how they're prepared. Let's open a digital lesson entitled, What Will Happen to Us? In these lessons, besides the visual illustrations, interactive content such as videos, 3D scenes, image galleries, exercises, experiments, and applications also helps to cement students' knowledge. As you can see, this digital lesson starts with a video as an introduction. Then, as you scroll down, related 3D scenes and videos also pop up. As I've mentioned, experiments and exercises are also included. For example, you need to carry out some research here, and you need to use a graph to present your findings. Let's go back to the main page and I'll show you how to search for other digital lessons. For example, let's search for the term jungle. Your search will result in two related digital lessons. Let's open one entitled Deep in the Jungle. The titles of these lessons are exciting on their own, while the questions and statements at the beginning help to motivate and engage students. Click on the introductory questions to jump to a particular part of the lesson. Use the menu for navigation. It's available in the top right-hand corner of your screen. You can also find introductory questions here. Click on them to jump to the relevant section within the digital lesson. In these lessons, the most important information comes in the form of short descriptions, and the corresponding visual and interactive content aids students in the learning process. There are also experiments, tasks, and exercises that can be done individually or in groups. As you can see, at the end of the digital lesson, you can find a Test Your Knowledge interactive worksheet as well. Now, I'll also show you some other interesting things that you should know about these digital lessons. In the bottom left-hand corner, you can see a small icon. Click on it to list the main details of the digital lessons relevant subjects, recommended age group. This little figure indicates the start of primary school, and this other one indicates the school leaving exams in high school. There are 12 grades between them. This is marked for the middle period here. That is, this lesson is recommended for upper level primary school students. You can also check corresponding digital content. The relevant keywords are displayed under tags. In the Related Digital Lessons section, you'll always find the User Manual for Digital Lessons, which guides you through the structure of these lessons. We've prepared this for you so you can learn about the digital lessons in a digital lesson, which we believe helps you to become familiar with both its content and use. Let's go back to the main page. I'll show you another digital lesson. Let's enter these terms in the search field to search for the Is Noise Harmful Digital Lessons. 
in the lower left-hand corner, click on the Details icon. You can see the related lesson plan here. There are lesson plans already available for teachers for most of the digital lessons to aid in making the learning process more effective. These plans include related subjects, previous and new knowledge, and the steps to follow during the lesson. Besides defining the pedagogic aims, the lesson plans also offer ideas for further activities as well. Let's open a lesson plan. You can see the recommended time, the required materials and equipment, the previous knowledge that students should already have acquired, and the new knowledge that should be acquired during a particular digital lesson. The digital lessons are available on PCs, tablets, and smartphones, as you only need a browser to open them. Thank you for your attention. I recommend everyone watch our tutorial videos to learn about MozaBook and MozaWeb. If you need further information, please go to our website at mozaweb.com and scroll down the page to find the Can We Help You menu item. Click on it and write to us at our customer support page.